The brand new Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 Steam page has just been released. Along with that, they revealed the antagonist for Chapter 4, well, one of many different antagonists as we learn more later in the video. So without further ado, let's just go hop into the video and start off with the Steam page. So as you guys can see from my um screen now, Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 is actually just here as a steam page and if you're wondering is this fake is it not real i thought the exact same thing when i saw it to be fully honest but it has been confirmed by many developers that this is real and also if you go to mob entertainment's developer and publishing tab you guys can see it's literally under the list of official games you got poppy playtime chapter 2 project playtime and of course chapter 4 to be announced and as you guys can see we get a couple of images of how chapter 4 actually looks like along with the one of the brand new characters which is just insane to think about so first let's go and actually read the about the page i mean the contents and stuff like that of course it's a dlc a downloadable content the game is planned to release of course to be announced and you can see all this the uh, languages i guess supported with it all about it more different information about that but the whole description is a lot more interesting brace yourself for the darkest chapter yet in the epic poppy playtime saga you are pushed deeper into the undiscovered depths of playtime co far below anything the world knew here you encounter terrifying new threats and discover shocking revelations can you outwit the unnatural new creations lurking in the shadows can you survive here long enough to eventually unravel the mystery behind the experiments? Every step will test your courage, every puzzle will challenge your mind, and every corner may be your last. Features, new characters, new a and allies, as it says, really interesting actually. New extraordinary characters guide your way and haunt your nightmares. Expanded lore, discover more about the dark secrets of Playtime Co. and its twisted past. Mind-bending puzzles, solve interactive, uh, puzzles, solve puzzle, puzzles, different things like that, that can mean the difference between life and death. Heart pounding atmospheres with haunting visuals and emergence, emergence sound design. The terror never lets up. Will you escape the horror hidden within Playtime Co or will you succumb to the terror? Survival isn't guaranteed. Fear is. Now that is pretty interesting. We also got the system requirements, which is of course just not right. It's not gonna be 60 gigabytes of space. That is just not real it'll probably get updated soon but now let's go and actually look at the photos after seeing the description you could definitely learn a lot about it as you guys can see the very first photo is just showing some more platforms for the purple hand in some more cave looking areas this is of course most likely under the ground you know deeper in the facility nothing too much to go into deep analyze about it since this of course is just more areas to look at sadly it's not showing any new gameplay mechanics which is of course understandable since this is our very first look at chapter four along with this room that looks like a trash compactor with some like sunlight or just light because i can't think the sun will be all the way down here with a whole bunch of different trash but what's interesting is that half the trash isn't even the toys like either a it's unfinished and we still have to wait for more stuff to come out or right now it's just showing us all this trash from usually experiments or other different things out there which wouldn't make sense since of course half these photos are not even colorful something we're going to talk about later on the next photo here shows a generator that we're most likely going to have to fix and it'll be a puzzle showing this tunnel sewer looking area which is all destroyed and just run down with really nothing like there like there's no toys you can see like i think like one or two toys in the background but it's mainly just rubble and a whole bunch of destroyed stuff no really garbage or anything that we usually been seeing in the past three chapters except for it looked like some cave-like materials in the back showing that of course this is really really deep underground somewhere that no sunlight will ever be able to reach the next screenshot is a lot more interesting since it has some of that poppy aesthetic to it that the other photos do not have and it makes sense because if no kids would be going down here why go make it all look like a little toy factory which is definitely understandable but here it looks like it's going to be like the main office or something like that that has fake sunlights or fake cloudy skies with just lights under it showing its broken aesthetic to it all showing red blue and yellow something that the developers have been teasing as humongous square there in the middle showing offices to different rooms looks like computers and also different surveillance cameras just watching the entire area 
and also different gated off zones that most likely will lead to prison areas because it looks like it's a whole prison room. This also could be the main office for a prison, which would make sense learning about other photos going on. And of course, knowing by leaked stuff that in the game files for chapter three, that most likely the next game was going to be a prison. And it looks like it definitely is. The different lines and the different color looks like it's leading to different zones and different areas. And you guys could tell by the bars, it most likely definitely is the prison. The next photo here is also probably the most interesting one out of all of them. Just showing a whole bunch of, looks like dried up blood all over the place. Just showing a whole bunch of piles and piles of dirt with, of course, no toys at all. And you guys can see even the back, you can see like the gated up area that looks like that would be the entrance we saw on the last page. Most likely walking into here being the prison or like a vault type thing, it looks like. And it definitely looks unfinished. Like this photo just does not look like it's 100% complete. And it makes sense because they're still working on chapter four, but these areas and these images looks like they're definitely going to be getting a lot more attention to detail later on in, you know, the development life cycle. But right now, it looks like this is one of the areas being the prison. Don't know what's in there or what's in the opened ones or if there's even anything left in the closed ones. But it's just really interesting. The reason why when I first saw this, I did not think it was real because, first of all, kind of shadow drop. This whole entire Steam page, like, as you guys can see, this whole entire Steam page was not meant to release. It was supposed to release actually tomorrow, the 30th, as the announcement from the chapter 3 recap video but it kind of just came out today kind of like a shadow drop but something one of the developers said in the poppy playtime discord chat was saying that something is still happening tomorrow meaning that this is something that was also supposed to be happening tomorrow but we're also going to get something else so if you guys want to stay tuned to see what the announcement is tomorrow definitely go and subscribe because i will be covering it like the first hour or two when it comes out so definitely subscribe if you want to see that my bets is definitely a teaser since we got the Steam page, stuff like that, we got the Steam page for Chapter 3 literally a few months before the game actually released. So my bets would probably be that tomorrow we're going to be getting the very first teaser trailer, giving us some type of date since we know from the developer podcast we will get a date before the year's out. So of course, that's a whole bunch of interesting stuff, but I think it's time to talk about the new character. Yes, this is a brand new character that will most likely be one of the many antagonists. We have no entire idea if this is going to be the main antagonist. It most likely won't, but it's also a huge likelihood that it also is we sadly do not have a name for this character but we do know that it's actually a she also saying that she's a little sheep confirming that this new character is of course a sheep and that it is a she and of course as you guys can see a smiling critter also while we're talking about a brand new smiling critter and plushy like you know plushy i just released my own plushy for a limited time you know self insert here <laughs> but it's limited time it'll be going away like in like what 10 days at this point if you guys miss out on it it will be gone forever we're trying to sell 100 so if you guys can help it'll make my day week month year but sorry for taking more time in the video let's just continue talking about this brand new character most likely one of the rejected smiling critters because the ones that never made the group or maybe some brand new ones being made on the ground to go and face us the player which definitely would make sense but something that's really interesting is the skull charm that just looks really cool and menacing the eyes the model looks really good i don't not hate the model people are of course already making memes about it to meet turner-esque it's just really funny. And the thing is that everybody was expecting the new antagonist to be something different, something new and something unique. And I definitely also was expecting it to be something different and new. But seeing how this new character is literally just a rejected smiling critter is definitely interesting. But it's not just that. It has been confirmed in the Poppy Playtime general server and stuff like that, that this character is inspired by Sweet Sheep. Sweet Sheep was actually a character that was made by Amber. We don't know the ones that helped create the original Smiling Critters and worked for Mob Entertainment based after Sheep Rampage. If you don't know Sheep Rampage, definitely go look him up. He's a great guy. But this new character is not Sweet Sheep. Definitely just want to put this out there. It's definitely inspired by Sweet Sheep, but it's not Sweet Sheep. And also, we literally have no idea what the name is, but most likely that will be really revealed later on. Maybe even tomorrow. Who knows? And we do know that this is one of the many main antagonists, as Amber said in Discord. And asked if the main icon is this like the main icon of the game or just, you know, a side character saying we have to wait and see, which we do know that this is most likely not but this is still insane to see how we got a very first look at one of the antagonists the chapter four first look like this is all insane to see right now 
guys just let me know in the comments below what do you guys do think about the brand new chapter 4 main antagonist or just antagonist we don't know if it's the main one yet also you guys can let me know what do you think is going to happen tomorrow and are you guys excited for the steam page in chapter 4 did it live up to your expectations or were you expecting something totally different i to be fully honest was definitely expecting something totally different the steam page and the images definitely does not look complete so you can expect to see lots of things changing over time so definitely subscribe if you want to stay tuned for all the changes and updates but yeah i think it's me it for this video i will see you guys all tomorrow when the new announcement happens and don't forget to check out this video while you wait and also this video for the announcement